people that work at the Buckets Foundation for putting this together. What does this award mean to you? Uh, I mean, I'm just honored and humbled, you know, uh, all praise to the Lord. Um, you know, growing up as a linebacker, you know, always looking up to Dick Buckets and, you know, just knowing about the Buckets Award my whole life, you know, it's been a dream of mine and to accomplish, accomplish it, it means a lot to me, so. Does it make it even more special all you've gone through with the injuries, coming back, and just, just all the adversity you faced to get to this point? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, like I said, though, that's just, a, that's just a credit to the Lord. I'm um, just, you know, staying with me uh, through the trials and tribulations and just uh, bringing me out on the brighter side and, you know, coming back for this last year, just, you know, helping me make that decision and eventually it turned out to work for me. What's up, all my NFL draft wizards? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. And listen, today, I want to talk about another interesting prospect. And listen, y'all, it feels like Christmas because I've been covering the draft for almost six to seven years around on this channel. And y'all never, especially Cowboys fans, never want to see linebackers, which y'all know is my favorite position. But if you ask, you shall receive. So Peyton Wilson, linebacker out of the University of North Carolina State. And man, oh man, this kid is a freak. He's 6'4", 238 pounds fifth year senior um, so the one thing he is kind of old he's going to be 24 years old um, when the draft kicks off in april um, decommitted from north carolina went to nc state but had 138 tackles six sacks dick buckus award winner and he even started as a true freshman I mean, he played as 11 games as a true freshman at nc state he had about 49 tackles and when you watch him great speed phenomenal awareness always in pursuit he's a former wrestler always around the ball probably a run around a 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, type speed. And also, he doesn't miss a lot of tackles. And if you didn't watch my Jeremiah Trotter Jr. video yesterday, definitely check that out um, listed up above. But that's the one thing when I watch linebackers, I don't want to see a bunch of slipping off of tackles. And you definitely don't see that when you watch Peyton Wilson. Now, this very first play right here, y'all, I'm an effort guy. And this is the play that made me jump out of my chair. So it's going to come down, engage with this offensive tackle and just pursuit to the ball pursuit to the quarterback all the way across field man i love this effort i love this effort this is what gets you on the pet cat list this is what gets me excited about you as a prospect if you remember last year in my film session i saw a similar play like this with ivan pace who was an undrafted kid who went to minnesota and kind of took the league by storm i love this kind of effort because you can't coach this. This has to be internal. This has to be something you want. Now, you could have gave up on the play and say, hey, you know, some of my teammates over there got it. Nah, but Peyton, he's out on the hunt. And even though he wears number 11, I mean, he kind of, <laughs> I mean, he kind of, Cowboys Nation, he kind of has a little bit of that lion in him. And you can definitely see that here on this play. Now, speaking of the lion, right, if you're a Cowboys fan, which a majority of you are watching this, uh, this this content, right, even though we open our doors for all NFL viewers. So welcome. But, you know, when it comes to Micah Parson, y'all, let's just keep it a buck. He ain't playing linebacker no more. He's not going to be moving around. He wants to be Miles Garrett, Nick Bosa. So, okay, cool. So we need to find a player that has some of those Micah S qualities that can do a lot of those different things. Now, we don't know who our defensive coordinator is going to be, but... As you're gonna see right now, Peyton's able to blitz in the B gap and get pressure on the quarterback. So he is a guy that you can move around. He's a multi-purpose type of linebacker. He's not just a middle linebacker, just an outside guy or edge rusher. He has a full skill set where you can use him as a jackknife and get really creative with them. And these are some of the things that we want to do more with Micah Parsons, but Micah ain't going. He's saying, hell no, I won't go, right? But Peyton definitely has some of those qualities in his game where you can move around and blitz him in the A gap and B gap and off the edge and drop him in coverage and do a variety of different things to have him go out there and completely wreck a game. On this next play right here, you're going to see that's going to chuck this tight end. And this is just having awareness for where the ball is at. And as I always say on this channel, if you're a linebacker, right? If you're a linebacker, your money is with the ball. You can't make no money as a linebacker if you're not around the ball. And so he's going to drop in coverage a little bit, but goes and gets this fumble recovery and just goes and makes a play. He is just a pure football player, y'all. Athletic freak. Like I said, he is a former wrestler. He can do a lot of different things. And he's just, you know, if you want nasty, grimy, you know, game wrecking type of linebacker play, this is definitely your guy. Next play right here. 
He's lined up on the perimeter, lined up on the edge, and he's just going to run the hoop on this tight end and get to the quarterback. So as you already see, y'all, he's already impacting the course of this game, right? Dropping in pressure, getting pressure from the A gap, the B gap, right? He's able to sense out the run. Like he's doing a lot of different things. And I know some of you are probably saying, Tuck, we watched your video yesterday. You said that you don't make highlight videos. You don't just pick players' best games. Well, this ain't his best game, y'all. This ain't the North Carolina game. He completely wrecked North Carolina. You know, he was causing havoc versus Miami. So this is kind of like what people will quote unquote say is a, a decent game for him, but you can see the impact that he's able to have out there defensively. And if you're an NFL team, you definitely won't mind this, right? That's where the money resides, where the money resides. Now, just from a pure linebacker's perspective, right? I will say, I mean, he's even though he's 24 right he could still probably put some more muscle on his frame he's kind of lean because i have a basketball basketball-esque type frame but like i said you know the one thing he can definitely do is he can read and diagnose and scrape and get to the ball which is something as a cowboys fan perspective we need some linebackers not safeties we need some linebackers that can go out there and read and digest like i said i would like to see him maybe bulk up his frame a little bit more but he's almost 240 like probably combine time he's probably going to measure like at 240 right so he's a decent sized linebacker but i still think he has some room to grow but once again he's 24 years old so sometimes you know when you get older it's hard to put on some grown man strength when you're already a grown man um but like i said the thing that i like the most is his ability to scrape and read and diagnose just like he did on the simple option so you know, he's going to come downhill and he's going to read it and he's going to feel like the running back has got it, right? So it's like, okay, damn, running back doesn't have the ball. He quickly disengages it. All right, you ain't got the ball. That's where my money is at and goes and makes a play on the ball carrier. Great effort from this kid. He just stays revved up and I love that, especially at the linebacker position. Now, here might be a negative, right? And I won't want to really say it's a negative because you pretty much don't want any linebacker to do this. You know, probably this is why Dan Quinn is probably using a lot of safeties to play linebacker but if you probably get him manned up on some of these speedier wide receivers or running backs i don't think he's going to be your coverage guy in that aspect where you can leave him manned up on you know different players but i mean there's not too many players in the nfl level that can do that especially from the running back position you know what i'm saying you have like tony pollard which we don't use you got your christian mccaffrey's list goes on and on so you really don't just from a matchup and scheme standpoint want your linebackers out there running in space mono a mono but he can run like i said he's a four four guy but i don't expect to see this a lot um from him at the nfl level but it's just, you know something that could possibly improve but like i said you don't want him running with Devon A chain or something like that because it might be GG's in the chat. Um, this next play right here, you know, I would say he does tip a little bit. And what do I mean by tipping? If you kind of watch his base, and we always say start with his base, right? He kind of shows he's coming for the ball. Like you can you can tell he's coming. Like the ball's not even snapped. Y'all look at his feet. He's coming. He's coming. You know what I'm saying? You can already tell he's coming downhill, right? So, you know, at the next level, sometimes the smarter quarterbacks will be able to diagnose that you know they'll be able to check out different things if you're tipping a little bit but like i said the thing that i love about him versus the jeremiah trotter is when he comes downhill he's an avalanche he's coming full downhill full heads full head of steam he's coming downhill so i definitely love that about him because i like my linebackers revved up as i said um on this next play right here right this is kind of showing just that nasty linebacker attitude right it, it comes with the territory like i play linebacker like i want my linebackers nasty right like a nasty right so when this play comes down here just lose a pop on this running back it's a physical 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 pop right just make sure he feels you make sure he feels you right there uh you know what i'm saying like i like that attitude i like that toughness that is a linebacker mindset which i definitely don't mind and the one thing I do notice, like I said, he played since 2019 was a true freshman. He's always trusting his eyes. He definitely has great eyes, great vision, always looking in the backfield. As you kind of watch here, he has his eyes on the ball. Like he's not even looking at this guard or this tight end right here, right? He's looking at the ball carrier, still staying engaged. Go out there making plays, right? So definitely love what I'm seeing from from Big Peyton. And I don't know if he has a nickname or anything, but right there. So you see him right here on this side right here. Boom. Where's the ball at? Where's the ball at? Where's my money at? Goes and makes a play. All right. Now, that's what I said. Like, as far as, you know, as far as passing games concerned, like, he can drop in coverage a little bit. He's fluid. He has fluid hips. But you'll see in this play, right? He just drops in coverage once again, right? 
he's going to turn, recognize that the quarterback breaks the pocket. Now he's coming downhill. The quarterback says, nah, bro, I don't want any parts of that. And I'm going to play it in full speed. Just watch how quickly his closing speed is. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, you got it, bro. So that's, what, that's a very important thing, right? Just to have that closing speed as a linebacker to be able to close in and especially come downhill. And like I said, he's always scraping towards the ball. He does a phenomenal job scraping towards the ball, getting through the junk, right? I think the younger generation calls it surfing. I, I call it scraping. That's what we were taught, right? So I call it scrape, right? Mama need a scrape, I'm gonna call it scrape. But getting engaged, scraping, 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 getting to the ball. Love the effort, love the effort from this kid. And then last but not least, like I said, once again, he's just always around the ball, making things happen. A very well-balanced linebacker that can do a lot of different things. Freakishly athletic, talented. He has the IQ. It's all there. The one thing I'll just say, like I said, he's an older prospect. He's had a lot of injuries going all the way back to high school. So I know if you're a Cowboys fan, you're probably like, ah, oh, you know, yeah, we already had some linebackers with some injury lists. So maybe that's going to be quite concerning. But... I would say, y'all, this guy's a complete game wrecker. If you're able to add him as of right now, I'll probably have him the day two prospect, like third round, possible fourth round, depending on the medicals. But make no mistakes about it, man. Peyton is definitely a guy that you can add to any NFL roster, and I think he's going to have impact, man. So comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. If you like NFL draft content, you're in the right spot because we got bangers and bangers and bangers coming. I know a lot of y'all saying, Tuck, what about this guy? Tuck, what about this guy? Hold on. Just sit back, relax, let me cook because y'all know I got y'all. We're going to be dropping so many more prospects, so make sure you turn that notification bell so you do not miss out. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged, and linebackers, they matter. Peace.